Good morning, my friends. Today is Sunday, December 18th. It's the fourth Sunday of Advent. Don't forget to sign up for Be Formed today if you want to get a workbook. Registration will be open for season six until January 1st for those who want to participate but want to use the workbook online. Today we're going to focus on the figure of St. Joseph, and that's why I'm standing in front of uh, Joseph and Jesus here, an image of the Holy Family. Three things I want to focus on with the life of St. Joseph. Uh, the first thing is he is prayerful and faithful. The second thing I want to talk about is fear. And then the third thing is action. So St. Joseph was a man of prayer and he was faithful. Um, he was a righteous man, scripture says. He was a just man. He was a man of faith and prayer and he was always looking for ways to put his faith into action, to put God first. And it was because of his faith that he was able to put his faith in action when when times were difficult. In the gospel today, we hear how uh, he was betrothed to Mary. Now, sometimes we think betrothal means that they were, it was like being engaged today. It was more than an engagement. A betrothal was a legal marriage, but it was before they lived together. And so uh, the man would, they would get married. It'd be like getting married civilly. The man would get the house ready and then he would go for his wife and then they would consummate the marriage. Um, and so that's why in the scriptures today, it says uh, uh, they were betrothed before they lived together. And so they were truly married. And um, Mary comes to, you know, find out that through the power of the Holy Spirit that she's pregnant. She's going to bear a son. His name will be Jesus, which means God saves. And you can imagine what it was like for Joseph. Embarrassing, you know. What would people think? My wife is pregnant, and I know I didn't have anything to do with it. He was willing to divorce her quietly to protect her, and the angel Gabriel appeared to him in a dream. Now, many of us have had dreams where we thought, you know, it was just a dream, but this prayerful, righteous, just man knew when God was speaking to him. Then comes the second point is fear. Um, the angel says to uh, Joseph, do not be afraid, for Mary has conceived through the power of the Holy Spirit. Take her into your home. Do not be afraid. How often are we afraid to be bold for Christ? How often are we afraid that it, it's so, so afraid that it keeps us from putting our faith into action, that we're afraid to do something great for the Lord because we might get rejected or we might fail? Um, Joseph had to be afraid in many ways, you know, uh, to take Mary into his home, to now he's got to flee with the family to Egypt to protect his son. Um, he's raising as the foster father, the son of God. There were lots of reasons to fear, but because of his prayerfulness and his faithfulness, Joseph continued forward. So, and then the third thing is Joseph put his faith into action. Immediately after this dream, Joseph wakes up, takes Mary into his home. Each time God speaks to him, you know, Joseph acts. And scripture says that when we listen to the word of God and put it into practice, that our house is built on solid rock. Jesus is our rock foundation. But when we listen to the, <clears throat> the word of God and we don't put it into practice, then our house is built on what? That's shifting sand that doesn't have any uh, solidity to it. If we look back to the first Adam, you know, Adam stood by idly as as Eve ate of the, the apple, the, the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil, and sin and death came into the world. Joseph did not sit by idly. He acted. He protected. He loved his family more than anything. And so let that be our prayer today on this fourth Sunday of Advent. One more week until Christmas, which is amazing. You know, let us be men and women who are prayerful and faithful. Let us invest time in our spiritual lives, like St. Joseph, to be ready to listen to the voice of God. Let us recognize our fears, renounce them, and say, God, I know that you're with me. Emmanuel, God is with us. I can have the courage to do what God is asking me to do. And then finally, the third thing is to put it into action. Um, you've heard me talk about the the story of the three frogs on a lily pad and two of them decide to jump in the water. How many are left on the lily pad? Three. 
They decided to jump in the water, but they didn't do anything about it. They didn't act. And sometimes we decide to do things, but we don't act. And the Lord wants us to get off our own proverbial lily pad and put our faith into action. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your son, Jesus. We thank you for uh, calling us to be your faithful, holy disciples and apostles. Give us the courage to overcome our fears and to put uh, your plan into action for each of our lives. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. To you and to your family, buen camino. God bless.